Make some noise. Have you heard of the, this deaf rapper? And wow. I don't mean deaf, like, ha. Ah, like deaf like comedy. Deaf yeah. comedy. But, like, he's deaf. Like, he can't hear shit. Well, it's, it's definitely deaf and comedy. And he's from Detroit. And his big claim to fame is that he's deaf. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that. And uh, he was discovered by the people that supposedly discovered Eminem. But I think I think the guy these guys that say they discovered Eminem they seem like they're just dudes that maybe he paid them for studio time before anyone knew who he was. Right. But uh, he's the deaf rapper Sean. I Forbes. gotta hear this, man. Well, here's just the story on him first. Let me find the, the fucking deaf rapper. He's the deafest. His love and passion for music helped him overcome his disability. We introduced you Those to Sean Forbes off. last year. How did he have Sean a passion a for music? Rapper. Who hasn't let that slow him down? People just Fox News under Eisen tells us he has the support of a record label that helped launch Eminem. Yeah, pe people said no to me, but I knew that I was I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. Oh, he's got a good deaf voice. I just kept going at it. <laughs> There was a time in my life. <laughs> so, <when> so deaf. <laughs> you know, I was like, I'm a deaf know, ass rapper, deaf. bro. And, you know, I was kind of depressed about it, and I thought that, you know, I would never be able to overcome that. And then one day I woke up, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to be like this for the rest of my life. <laughs> Is he blind, too? Right look at that fool, dude. He's not a. Look, look, he doesn't be a rapper. They call me scene. Got a message here. I'm delivering. I remember when I was five years old, I always wanted to be on the stage just rocking it out. And, Hell yeah. And you know, that's my life. And he's worked so very hard for every precious moment of it. Metro Detroit's own Sean Forbes. Wow. Sean Forbes is kind of like. A phenomenon. He's got the talent. Sean has the drive. And this deaf rapper now, just... Uh, yeah, I don't know if the drive's enough. That's... <laughs> well, for... Okay. I know it's probably not hip to say, but this fucking guy annoys me. This rapper. But the these guys behind him annoy me even more. Because really, all they're thinking is fucking deaf rapper. Nice. Yeah. Headlines. Seriously. Media. But they, then they have to come on and be like, oh, he's got it. Yeah, I haven't seen a better rapper than this. He's got the passion, you know. He makes a lot of deaf puns, which is really good. <laughs> he just say, says things. He's like, did that rhyme? Guys, did that rhyme? <laughs> like, yeah, it rhymed. <laughs> Hell yeah. So it's pretty fat. Pretty fat rhymes. I don't know. I've always had a problem of, fire. of people trying to overcome... Obstacles. Is, I don't know why, but it's it something inside annoying. me that fucking bothers me. Like, well, cause, why do you gotta be a? Yes. Why can't you be a writer or something? Well, why can't you do something else? He's like, because I'm deaf, I have to do something impossible. It's and, and plus, it's because you know what, Mike Steele's got an NBA jersey on. Should should we just go now and allow Mike Steele to play in the NBA? No, dude, I'm tall. I can be a center. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. you know what? Sometimes <laughs> we just can't do things, and you gotta accept that. I could be a ball, but you have to be like, no. I'm like, uh, don't tell me what I can't do. I'm like Daredevil if he was deaf and wanted to rap. I wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> I've read so many good things about what it's like to be a rapper, so I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> I don't know. It just sucks because I've had thoughts before. Like, if I get in a car accident and I become like an awful burn victim, mm -hmm. I'm not going up. At fucking, you don't want to be a model then? No, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to <laughs> do anything where people have to look at me. Well, you should just be a model. You're, being a, you're and, a stand up comedian. And then you could prove. But, but what saying I'm saying is, stop. if I was a burn victim, oh, I would sit I down and listen, not stand up and talk. I thought you talk. said just right now. Oh, no. no. Well, Wait, wouldn't, what? well, no, but what this guy should. If you become a burn victim, this guy's saying you should be a model. I don't like that. I don't know why. It's, Were those his words? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Signed <laughs> one heck of a record deal. Get I'm now wait, what is that mambo? I thought he was a rapper. Dude, it's a beat. What is that mambo? Dude, shit he's, he's outside doing? the box, <laughs> man. Lou Bega in it. Mambo, mambo. With the people that His lyrics were, I can't Eminem mambo. <laughs> great, amazing producers. I've been working with Jake Bass, who's the son and the nephew of the guys who founded uh, Web Entertainment. The Bass Brothers, and these brothers are bad. I never even heard of these motherfuckers. Well... Jim, they're pretty big in Detroit. They just signed that deaf rapper. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. Those guys. My favorite is, since the captions are on, it just has to say music and put musical <laughs> symbols there. Well, that's for, the actual, that's for the deaf kid. <laughs> yeah. Now we're playing music. Ooh. Not just famous people, but very talented people. You know, I'm just really uh, thankful for that. 
I remember when the uh, first Eminem record came out, I was looking at the back, you know, like, who are the Bass Brothers? I knew... Because <laughs> I couldn't listen to I it. I couldn't so listen, I was, so I was just reading. I was, <laughs> I was reading the lyrics and re- looking at the pictures who over and over Who are these guys? I'm, I've heard of them. <laughs> I was the only one that read the Bass Brothers <laughs> somewhere on there because everyone else was busy listening to the music. Hold on one sec. A really good one from the chat. Play me a beat. Play me a beat. (laughs) We are. (laughs) Nice job, Nuke. (laughs) It's really amazing. Sean doesn't quit. He is so hungry. And we yell at him Detroit. and tell him to like quit. To he just our, won't. Uh, talent in Detroit. <laughs> Honestly, I'd like to see him break a mainstream. Would break all barriers. I don't think that would the it though. Impaired community. Hmm. Would it break all barriers? Like, is it on the level of Obama becoming president? No. no. <laughs> Dude, well, I guess if he became the biggest name in rap, it's kind of on the level. But yeah. he would never be. He would just have that one hit, like, I can't hear you. Yeah. And everyone like, whoa. To be completely fair, we've heard him rap so far, and he's not good. He's not. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't have any talent. If he was good, yeah. yeah if, maybe. if he had talent, he could break some fucking borders. But like, in all fairness, he's not any good. So, he no, he's not going to do anything. any type of artistic, creative voice as it relates to music. They should have never been left out. You know, I think that the industry uh, forgot about the, the hearing the impaired. The deaf. Where, Usually. Um, I think they missed out. I don't out. know, man. The music industry, that's a pretty fair people for that's them to forget fair, about. Yeah. They're going to forget like, any group of people. You know, the fucking magic eye people aren't like, what do the blind <laughs> think of this? <laughs> we need to get them behind our product. Yeah, he's like saying that they're just assholes, like purposely, like, fuck them. Can you imagine if the Magic Eye people did that for blind people? It would just be like audio recording. Nothing. nothing. It's just an empty. Oh boat. wait, there's some. Oh, it looks like a boat. <laughs> it's white pages that say, "Just lie to him. Tell him what you th- tell. Tell him this one's a dinosaur." And that's why we're so proud to be the the innovators of this here. Uh, Sean is just extremely talented. His work ethic was incredible. And listen uh, to the compliments they have many, to give him. Many hours were put His into this work project. ethic is out of control. Yeah. And he has to talk about all the time it took to, to make it. And he shit. eats three square meals a day. <laughs> he's always at the gym. He got it. He's got a haircut recently. <laughs> he's nice to everyone. Can he rap? He, he's so nice. Oh, you got a new shirt. <laughs> Never giving up. For Sean to be able to rap dance and sign at the same time you know you got to have some real great rhythm for that you know when people say everything happens for a reason the good and the bad right you believe that yeah i believe that i hope though i believe that strongly if getting just a glimpse into the life of sean forbes doesn't move you to want more i don't know what will this music man from michigan is a motivator (laughs) on a mission with not one single regret the kind of guy all of these people around this guy don't believe in him though that's the annoying even this reporter you it's all like nice. I get a story tonight on the news. Well, yeah, the reporter I gets get to a do story. the story. I get to do the feel good story. The fucking producers get to be on the news. Not only do they get to be on the news, they get to be on like fucking the news all the time. Whenever he does anything, and maybe mm-hmm. just maybe they get a song out there. They're just exploiting this deaf well, kid, and they're not in that studio for free. They're getting paid somehow. Someone's getting paid somewhere. Well, they and they that's, probably that's the idea. yeah, and plus they'll probably record for this kid because. This press for their studio, someone in Detroit's like, oh, these guys get press. I'm going to go pay them and start so I can say I was with them, too. I mean, wouldn't discovering Eminem be enough? Sounds like you didn't really discover yeah, it. No, they had like to top it, man. They topped Eminem. it. guy who doesn't take anything for granted. He's a strong, deaf, and proud person. And <laughs> he makes sure he's deaf. Just so you guys know, he's a strong person, but he's a strong deaf person. For Forbes, the sky is the limit. Hopefully I'm uh, doing some big shows and traveling all over, and, and I just want to perform in front of people. It doesn't matter what disability you have. You can do anything you set your mind to. I mean, if a deaf person can go into music and can uh, become what I'm doing... The uh, the possibilities are endless. Sean just wanted a shot. Now he's got it, and it is well deserved. And you can Who's help this? him celebrate next week at Memphis Smoke. In- yeah, 